And welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics, where we do continue to discuss the issue of impeachment uh, at the Supreme Court here in West Virginia. The House Judiciary Committee meetings ongoing this week. I'm joined right now by Don Smith. He is the uh, executive director of the West Virginia Press Association. Obviously, we've had a big blowout uh, uh, regarding press coverage of not the proceedings, but the uh, tour that the legislators want to take um, of the Supreme Court facilities. Uh, let's talk about that. First of all, how did we get to this point? I mean, they were going to have a tour last week and right. the press was blocked from going. Yeah, the um, the Supreme Court said no, we don't. They basically, I think they said we wouldn't like wouldn't have the media there and uh, I give a lot of credit to all the media outlets, uh, the Broadcasters Association, the Press Association, and the public for speaking out and saying we want this access, but I have to give a lot of credit, the most of the credit, to the members of the West Virginia House of Delegates. They stood up and said, for the media and for the public and said, we are not going to do this tour without the media. We think this is an important element to have the public there, and they really stood their ground. They could have went on the tour without the media, but but they refused, and I think that's a uh, really a credit to them that they said, no, the people of West Virginia deserve to know this. Uh, Chairman John Schott said that it was the committee's job to look where the public couldn't look. And I think by taking the media, he gives the public access. So that's yeah, important. Yeah, it, it's fascinating because this whole issue, the whole controversy over the court really stems from this word, this buzzword we hear all the time in the world of politics now, transparency. Absolutely. And a lot of the spending and the things went on scene for years up there because of a lack of transparency. And then so we had this process where the press was gonna be blocked from going. I mean, how non-transparent is that? It, it is, and, and especially when you talk about the office because we're looking at questions about the furniture, things that have been moved, things that have been done in the office. And so that is very germane to the discussion. And I think for, for your viewers and for our readers and for everyone in West Virginia, it's important that they, they're able to see at the same time they read the testimony. And if we're not on the tour, then we're not seeing how that, uh, it's been estimated 3.7 million has been spent over the years on those offices. And, uh, and in terms of transparency, again, I give the House credit under Speaker Tim Armstead. They've been very supportive of open meetings and FOIA and transparency and like I say uh, I, I, I really do want to applaud uh, the delegates John Schott, uh, Mike Pushkin, uh, Sean Fluharty, um, uh, Riley Moore, all up they, they stood up it was bipartisan they stood up and said no the media needs to be there and we are, we're, transparency is important. So what will the structure of this we don't know who the representatives there will be no. three delegates from the press give us a sense of what that might look like. We, well they've asked the media that they don't want to necessarily make the decision on what media attends that's a concern so they've asked the media to submit some names and some structure my understanding on the structure is that it will be uh, one videographer for the TV, uh, one still photographer for the print media and, and all sources, and then probably somebody with a radio background that can provide some type of coverage that would be germane to that media. And, and the, cool, the, the nice thing about this is everyone is sharing the product. There will be a pool, just three people, but all the outlets will have access to everything that comes out of it. Yeah, and that's important. We share the, the information. That way we don't have a, a mob scene of 25 reporters and photographers sit there, you know, trampling over the office. That really would have been unwieldy, especially when you're talking about 25 delegates uh, on the Judiciary Committee. Uh, how important is it? I mean, the $32,000 couch does not belong to Justice Lawfrey. It belongs right. to the people of West Virginia. Therefore, it's important. That, that was the case I met, that the people in all 55 counties get to see these items and make a judgment for themselves. I think that's important. I, in some ways, that's a little difficult because if you don't know what you had before and you don't know what you have now, there is an expense to update off Offices, and I guess from my understanding there was a need to update but it certainly seems extreme and I think the people need to see that uh, it's hard for the average West Virginian to imagine a thirty four thousand dollar couch or a twenty thousand dollar rug so those are important things that they see uh, also I think in terms of the media coverage that transparency it's very important this story has been media driven and public driven and it wouldn't be where it is I don't think if we hadn't had awareness of some of this. One of the best examples of why it's important the media is there and why the public is informed is the photo that shows Justice Lowry having the a desk or a couch moved from his office. That came from the public. The public often provides us leads yes. and information or a firm, former employee. So 
that picture wouldn't have been taken if the media hadn't been covering this story. So when we see this office, who knows what will come an additional testimony from a former employee or someone who says, well, what I saw in that film differs from what I saw when I left. So it's very important that that's put out there. All right. Well, bottom line is the media will be there for the tour of the Supreme Court facilities. Don Smith from the West Virginia Press Association, thanks for backing us all up on this, okay? Oh, we'll be down be there, there covering it. You guys have done a great job. We're just trying to support you. All right, thanks. Thank you. We will talk more about the impeachment after this break. Stay with us on Inside West Virginia Politics.